Welcome to Malaysia, the NICE, the KK, the KFC. Most visitors come into Malaysia, most come for this, the crispy, delicious madness. You see, the UK where I'm from, you're constantly told to watch your weight. And of course, it's by right, your health is your kingdom. Your body is a temple of joy. You should take very good care of it. But in Malaysia, it's so hard to stay healthy because KFC is banging out some delicious crispy menu. Is it good? Let's find out. That one there looks so good, so I think I'm gonna try that one. So $16.49. Oh yeah. Basically, the KFC I am um, that one there is sold out. Then they have a nasi lemak, but I don't want to eat nasi lemak. It does have rice, so I'll start one as well. But because I've already tried nasi lemak here, oh. but the one thing I missed, I'll say, and I missed the zinger burger. Right, I love the zinger burger here in Malaysia. It's unreal. On the outside of the package, it says finger licking good. Honestly. Whenever I'm in Malaysia, when the camera is off, guess what? I'm at this place, eating some delicious bad boys. This. Blimey, ridiculously dry, I can't stand it. No flavour, bland like my ex-girlfriend. I can't take a proper bite at all and it's so difficult for me like, when I'm making food videos to chew things. Clearly, I'm struggling to take a proper bite, but I did. I think it's clear I can be a full-time food blogger if I can't take a proper bite. But I tell you what, I'm trying to swallow this because it's so cold. Honestly, it's not the best KFC I've tried here in Malaysia. But the thing is, I hate wasting food. Of course, I finished my plate. And I hate that chicken like a true legend. This is some people leave their stuff there, sort of taking it and putting the rubbish there. I think it's basically on the staff, and basically it's a bit messy, things, let's face it, right? And uh, yeah, but I don't mind. I would, I would, I would clear my mess anyways. And I'll just put this thing here. It's not a long process. In there, easy. <clears throat> right, it's messy. I think this might be the worst. So this is the location outside. If you can spot this, then you know where I am. And uh, I think maybe this might be the worst KFC thing in Malaysia I've been to so far. I don't want to be negative, but I have to be honest, it's a little bit dirty. I think it's all done by the customer, but at least they need someone to clean this place up. I'm sad. I'm walking off. This disappointing experience trying KFC in Kuala Lumpur. Maybe it's the restaurant. Maybe I should give you another try. Another day. I think the restaurant was way on the staff. Of course, the entrance looked clean, but on the outside, what I couldn't show you, there's a lot of people who are just like, let's say, uh, it's really sad, but homeless, right? And 
yeah, maybe some customer might not like the idea to where they eat, they see people actually vulnerable and struggling, right? And then inside, some customer can't even bother like to clean their, their stuff, right? But you can't blame them, they're customer. And I think that place is just on the staff. I think I only saw like two or three people running that place and it has a second floor as well. And uh, yeah, I don't want to be negative, of course, that it's not me. And I always say good things about this place or this country, about the food, but in that aspect of food, I just try. I think right now it's been 15 to 20 minutes and I came to this beautiful scenery, right? And I think I'm feeling the effect. I think my belly is going squat, all around. I think the burger wasn't too bad, but it's just like it's just slightly cold. That's it, right? The next day, I find myself at Bajaya Times Square shopping mall. My mind, mm, baby, just move a little closer. Uh, and I say, oh, basement full of delicious options. Zinger Gisela KFC. Yeah right, this KFC seemed much better, so I came to try I am Pussy. So I came to a different KFC just to try the KFC I am Pussy. Pass, pass, pass. You know what? I can't say that last one there. No? Is it Pussy? Is it Pussy or something? Do you know what? I just it looks so good. I have to try it. Oh wow. Yeah wow. Look at that, that is deliciously put together like my future wife. It's splendid, stupendous. <laughs> Not for you, for me. Yeah, me, only me. Look at this, coleslaws. Oh, it looks so healthy, isn't it? Mmm. I actually like coleslaws, you know? Mmm. All right, I just want to try the surly chicken, right? Nice this is in. And oh, it's so sticky in the hands, and of course, they just left. But it's so strong and protein. And for this, it's like 17 ringgit. Look at my jaw. I know I'm so insecure when it comes to my weight. Bear with me, this chicken is good. Of course, I don't care to be healthy. All I care about is to try this. This is good. This is life. This is joy. Joy to me. Joy to my heart. So different. So, this dish, the only thing that is missing is quite so similar to Nasi Lamak, right? But in, my, in KFC, they also have a Nasi Lamak in my menu. And it's about the same price, but what? On the table, so much things, you know? Look at it, um, Nasi Lamak at the national dish here. Look at my hand, so messy. But I must say, the more you dig into it, it's actually quite, it's quite, it's quite sick. It's slightly spicy on the side, um, but mm, dish, particularly this chicken, ooh, it's kind of spicy now. It depends on her. It's quite famous here in Malaysia, right? So you can love it. They love this stuff. It's brilliant. It's, it's quite good. I quite like it. The last one I tried, maybe that one was didn't have it, so I tried the Zinger Burger. The Zinger Burger has a problem as well. But yeah, this place, in terms of the cleanliness, is there, it's cool. And uh, yeah, I think it's quite spacious as well. And you know what? Wait for And I tell you what, I'm going to enjoy all this little thing, man. I'm actually enjoying the chicken now. Huh? <laughs> the more I eat it, the more I'm enjoying it. Eh? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I was about to head home. 
the United Kingdom and break the news to the people of Great Britain and speak to the queens and kings and tell them the KFC in Malaysia sucks far more than the KFC in the UK but I was wrong the first restaurants I visit wasn't good but this one surely live up to his expectation Malaysian I am chicken lovely so yeah I would give it a 4 5 but for now if you love this exciting episode and would like to see more of exciting stuff around Asia subscribe to the good stuff and it's free